Hi, here we are for the Eurometal Express show, and I am here with Alec from Rhapsody. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, Very excited. Yes. Yeah, getting ready for the show right yes, now. Yes, I'm ready for the show. Yeah, about 15 minutes, something like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. As soon as we are done, we we go. Yeah. Um, well, it's your first day here in Mexico. You yeah. have planned three more. Yes. Yeah. How do you feel to come back to Latin America? Yeah, it's fantastic. It is a great feeling every time we come here. You know, so we now we do this uh, tour in Mexico, and we are planning to come back uh, again all over South America. So yeah, the people love you here. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's mm. cool. Yeah, and it's just that you launched the album one year ago now. Yeah, like that. yeah, not even. Yeah. Not even. Yeah. And how has been that far? Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I'm very happy about the album. For I composed it together with my brother, so it was really something very special for me. Also. Yeah, you change a little bit about the yes, composition. yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to do something different, you know, to not just go easy and do the same thing all over again. You know? So I'm, I'm very proud of that piece of state. Yeah, it's an amazing album, really. And what do you inspire for writing all these songs? Yeah, well, I just write, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's all about personal visions, you know, personal taste and things like that, you know. It's easy for me to get uh, involved in some, in some musical uh, environments, you know, and uh, being the producer, the arranger, it's, uh, it's interesting for me to start the process with composing, Knowing that uh, I will do the arrangement, I will take care of the mix and, and the recording as well, you know, so uh, that was a very important album for this aspect as well. Yeah, and I mean, when you are reading some authors or watching some movies, what kind of things do you see or read? Yeah, actually I try to listen less uh, music as possible, especially if I don't listen to it, especially if I have to compose. I, I keep my mind uh, free and I watch movies or listen to different kinds of music, like soundtracks or classical music. Mm -hmm. So I stay focused on what I want to do. You know. I want to do. Yeah, usually movies are always important for me. You know. Yeah. yeah. What kind of movies? Well, it's, uh, it depends. Usually I like action movies or fantasy mm -hmm. movies or movies that uh, you know you get visions about vision and inspire inspiring scenes or stories. Yeah, sure. I mean we born we were born in a town which is fantastic. It's connected to the sea and the mountains and the connection with nature was very strong mm -hmm. all the time, you know, so for us it, it's uh, that helps. Yeah, it helps a lot really. Yeah. Okay, what does it feel to have a line, a new line of human future? It feels uh, great because um, we we feel ready to play any time, any place. This is a feeling that I never we never had this feeling before. You know, we have different approach. You know, now with this lineup, uh, we really are more tight, and uh, I have the feeling we really play. Better, you know. Is it hard to mm, get accomplished? No, actually, because uh, for example, sometimes we don't even rehearse. Mm -hmm. We rehearse separate, and mm -hmm. then we meet, uh, and then sometimes uh, we do one or two days of rehearsing, and sometimes we do just a pre-production day. And this is the feeling we have, you know. We finally, I can say, finally we go on stage and, and then really have fun, really enjoy playing. You know? That's important. Okay, when we started, we, we, we were not really a good players live in '99, you know, <laughs> you know, because we we started composing as a living room, and then suddenly we were on stage, you know. So it's a different feeling, you know. So now I am really happy we can go on stage and really enjoy what we do, you know. And we here in Mexico, what? Oh you? my God! Did you hear? <laughs> did you hear that? The crowd calling the band. It's fantastic. 
I don't know. I mean, I really wanted to stay more, you know, after the band. I really wanted to stay more in Mexico after the last show, but mm -hmm. I don't have the time. But I really, I love this place. I mean, and we also love you, so yeah. <laughs> it's like we're going the feeling to you have here with the free people and the food and the atmosphere is so unique. Yeah. I would really like about time, like three weeks, two weeks. <laughs> Just so to be around. Oh my god, yeah, so we love that. Yeah, and I mean, it is different to play here or in Europe. Well, Italy, you know, Italy, Spain, mm -hmm. France, uh, just loving people, you know, especially in Italy. Yeah. I would say Italy and Mexico, you know, we we'll play Milan, we we'll play here in Mexico City, somehow it's the same, you know. Maybe in Italy because we are Italian, so people is like really proud of them. Uh -huh. Here they are more like locals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we are. It's, I love it, you know, it's great. Yeah. When you go on stage, you, you feel this energy, it's like, you know, we really feel that. Yeah. We've probably been around like in so many places now, in so many projects besides this. Does it affect you or the Rhapsody of Fire band? Well, Rhapsody of Fire is the band that uh, started everything, you know, so mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's difficult, but uh, he knows what. What's what, important. Uh, yeah. What to do at the, at the right moment, you know, so I think uh, it's enough to organize it in a good way. You know. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, you are like the fathers of the gender of this. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, and the fantastic things that you play, it's like very cool. Yeah. So, do you feel proud? Do you, what do you Yes, do you yeah, well, I have to. You know, we started everything. We were, I was 22, Luca was 20 years old when we started composing and we made even before. And so we just decided to do something special and something like, let's make music that is still is not, is unknown, it's not in the market yet. Yeah. Something, let's do something new, yeah, but okay. always we, anyway, we love to do, you know. Mm -hmm. So we created this and we were totally convinced against every else. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, any plans for the future? Well, now it's a very important moment. Well, for me, I started compose already for a new album, so it will be like a mixture between things. You know, I will mm -hmm. start composing more as soon as I go back, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we are. Uh, I would like to start organizing a tour all over South America. So we would like to come to come here. Yeah, it's and okay. yeah. And this I would like to I would like to happen in October or November or something like that. You know, in fall yeah. we really like the rest of the five days in, in Brazil and Argentina and Chile, you know. For the song part of Yeah and uh, and after that we would like to play in Europe. But we see, you know, this is just brainstorming now, but mm -hmm. we would like to keep uh, fall Okay, and any festival plans? Well, we did some festival this summer and uh, I don't think we have more shows at the moment. This is really just three Mexican, Mexican shows for the moment, the last ones, decide what we are going to play for. for. Any final words? Well, for the Mexican fans? Yeah, we're very happy <laughs> and uh, in five minutes we'll be on stage, so... And we can feel already yeah, by yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah, and yeah. um, just finally we have something for you because our my presenter told us to give you something from Mexico. So we bring sweets. Uh -huh. This are alegrías we call them. And it's for the whole band. Okay. Here you are. There are some gifts. Some gifts. Um, mm, it was cool. yeah, very <laughs> nice to have you. Yeah. Thank you for the time. Yeah, we'll and, and thanks a lot. For yeah, the interview, and we will turn very soon, hopefully. And yeah. well, that's also cheers.